Yes. Guess what? What? November is almost over. Yes. Next week, believe it or not, is Thanksgiving. Yep. So we have a lot to talk about today because we got Thanksgiving coming up. We have Evan coming up. There's so much exciting information to share. That's right. Yeah. Not only do we have information about this Sunday's service, which is Stewardship mm -hmm. Sunday, but we have a lot of exciting events and services coming up in the next few weeks. Stewardship Sunday is this Sunday, Pastor. Indeed Tell us a little about your message, All Things Belong to God. Well, I'm going to start by giving a little bit of history on that. A while ago, as, as you know, I, I wrote a hymn text to um, a song that I kind of made fun of in Bible class. Mm -hmm. It changed the words. And, I, and the people really enjoyed it. And since then, people have been asking me, when are you going to write another hymn? And I said, oh, I'll get to it. I get to it. And finally, I thought about doing one for Stewardship Sunday. And so I put some thoughts down on paper. And the phrase that kept coming back to me was, all things belong to God. Okay. And so I wrote the hymn text, not the tune, the hymn text, around the theme of all things belong to God. And then I said, hmm. So it started bouncing off into a message and then bounce off into a service. And what's really neat was I was talking to Martha uh, at the council meeting and uh, her devotional thought on Stewardship Sunday is also around all things belong to God. So it's kind of like the stewardship theme uh, for 2024. So uh, I'm excited that the, the readings, the hymns, the sermon hymn, which is the one I wrote, uh, my message and, and Martha's uh, stewardship message and even the kids message is going to be around the theme of all things belong to God. And we are reminded in James 1, 2 through 4, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. <laughs> week we spoke briefly about Little Steps Christmas program and this week we know the date which will be Monday December 11th. Indeed it will and remember that we are seeking donations of undecorated Christmas cookies and the reason for that is the youth group will be having a decorating party on the 10th the Sunday the day before so if you guys would like to help out bring in those cookies to church to either Heather or Tammy, and they'll stick them in the freezer and we'll keep them frozen until they're ready to be decorated by our awesome youth. Another event coming up for Little Steps is an easy to participate in fundraiser. Easy is right, absolutely easy. And all we have to do is go to the Texas Roadhouse restaurant up by me and have a wonderful meal on December 4th. And I might suggest those rolls that they have are awesome but yes go on up there have a great meal join your brothers and sisters from the church and from the daycare the preschool and part of the proceeds are going to go to little steps right yes what could be easier yeah. this event will be from 3 to 10 p.m on december 4th like you said you must take the flyer yes. in with you in order for little steps to receive 10 percent of the proceeds yes. so look for the flyers in the back of the sanctuary <laughs> This Wednesday night is Thanksgiving Eve already, and we will be having a service at 6 p.m. that night. Absolutely, and this service, of course, will include communion, and it'll give us a chance to come together to thank God for all His blessings, to thank Him for His steadfast love and every single thing that He has given to us, which is everything, especially our Lord and Savior Jesus. And it's a great night to thank Him and that's what we're going to do that night. Next Sunday, November 26th, we will be decorating the church for Christmas mm. because Advent begins on December 3rd, which is the following Sunday. It's actually interesting this year calendar-wise because we usually have Thanksgiving and then right away the first Sunday of Advent. But after Thanksgiving is Christ the King Sunday. So there's one more Sunday in Ooh. the church year. And I'm hoping that the youth and, and Billy and Hallie will 
continue to decorate the tree out in the courtyard. I always like to see that tree lit up. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's always a good Thank thing you. there. But uh, speaking of decorating trees, uh, if you guys could help us out, that would be awesome. So if you can stay after service uh, or come back after first service to lend a hand in helping us decorate for the Advent and Christmas season, that would be awesome. We'd appreciate it. And there are jobs for every age. So don't say, oh, I'm too young, or don't say, oh, I'm too old. We'll find something for you to do. Another way you can help beautify the church for Christmas is with donations of poinsettias. We will have more information about that very soon. Since we have been talking about Thanksgiving and now Advent services, this might be a good time to talk about what the offerings collected during those services will go to. Oh, and I am excited about this. This came up at council and I am excited. Um, as you well know, we direct our midweek offerings and our Thanksgiving Eve offerings uh, to a special mission. And uh, we'd like to get it out of house into a, the mission field or to a missionary or to a, some kind of mission theme project. And I am excited this year uh, because this year we will be supporting uh, one of our own, uh, Rosalind Kuhn, who is going to take a nursing mission trip to the Dominican Republic. And this trip will take place in March of 2024, but it's exciting to to preach about missions, to talk about missions, to study about missions, and then to actually have a member of the congregation go on a mission trip. And uh, we're so excited that once again, the offerings for Thanksgiving Eve and the Advent midweek services are going to support Rosalind in her medical mission trip. And it's, it's exciting. Thanksgiving offering envelopes are available on the back table in the sanctuary. Please write your name on the envelope if you would like credit on your financial statement. The first midweek admin service, Heather, is December 6th, and we're going to have a congregational dinner at 5 p.m. Now, this is going to be a soup and sandwich supper, as well as a wonderful fellowship event. So, service at 6, that dinner is at 5 o'clock. There will be several selections of soups, vegetable beef, chicken noodle, Trinity Crown Point's famous cheeseburger soup. Mm. Try them all. Mm. And there will be a variety of sandwiches from Subway, plus four kinds of yummy cookies. <gasps> That's for me. Okay. I'm going this for This supper is yes. <laughs> a thriving action team event and will be served by the Stewardship Board. Yes. If you are interested in hosting one of the other two Advent meals, please let me know. In your mailboxes, you will find your 2024 commitment envelopes. Please take time this Sunday, Stewardship Sunday, to prayerfully consider your commitment to God. Simply fill out the card, seal it, I'll explain that in a second, seal the envelope, and we'll be collecting them during the offering the following Sunday on Sunday, November 26. Now, why I said seal is because these envelopes are sealed. It's between you and God. Now, we collect them. We don't open them. We collect them. We pray over them, collect them, and then they go in that box that you see up on the credence table up in the altar space against the wall. If you ever wonder what that box is next to the offering plates, that's where the pledge cards go. And so they sit there all year and then get returned to you the following November. So they're sealed and not looked at between you and God. On Monday, the knitters will be meeting at 10 a.m. The elders will have their next meeting at 6 p.m. And the women's Bible study will be getting a new study at 6.30 p.m. The youth group will also be gathering at 6.30 in the youth garage. And Polka. Polka has their next event on Tuesday at 11.30. And then the trustees will meet that night here at church at 6 p.m. The lunchtime Bible study will be wrapping up their Revelation study with lunch and study at noon on Wednesday. But there will be no confirmation class or men's Bible study that night due to the Thanksgiving Eve service. In fact, the men's Bible study will be on a break until January 3rd, 2024. Well, then on Thursday, 
We encourage you to enjoy time with your family and friends. Eat some turkey, then Thursday night eat a little bit more, and then on Friday eat what you didn't eat the day before, and then on Saturday you can walk it off for Christmas time. Pastor, yes. can you say a prayer for the safety of all of those traveling for Thanksgiving and that we all have a safe and enjoyable holiday and that we all have time to remember what he has done for us? Wow. Yeah, there's a lot in there, but I can surely do that. Father God, we thank you. And that's the key phrase, we thank you. So often we go through life as like little kids, when they receive a gift and we forget to say thank you to the gift giver. And we get the parents and grandparents whispering into our ears saying, what do you say? Well, your spirit whispers into our ear every day. Well, you've been blessed by God, now what do you say? So Father, help us to be truly thankful. Thankful for all your gifts that you bless us with, especially the gift of your son, Jesus. Jesus, thank you for dying for us loving us so much, yet while we are still sinners, just thank you for that love. And Father, we want to come to you to, to ask you to be with all those who are traveling. Uh, so many people now are taking the opportunity to travel uh, to friends or, or traveling home from college or, or wherever. Just bless their travel and, and make their travel safe, whether in planes, on trains, uh, in cars, wherever it might be, just bless their travel uh, and keep them safe. And when we gather together with family and friends, whether here at church or in our individual homes, just bless that time and help us to enjoy the friendship and, and the family, but to enjoy the, the time of just saying thank you for all your gifts. And you would do pray, amen. That's the end of information for this week. It is, it is, it is. And I want to say thank you, speaking of Thanksgiving, thank you guys for watching. And may God bless you. And we pray that we hear from you guys soon. We would love to have you join us in person for worship here at Redeemer. Our Sunday services are at 9 and 11.15. If you can't join us in person, you can view those services via our live stream. And please like and share this video and check out some of the other content on our YouTube channel. And please like and subscribe. And make sure you click on that notification button so that when we load up new content, you will be notified. If you would like to know anything about Redeemer, please contact me in the church office at churchoffice at RedeemerWarsaw.org. Or you may contact Pastor Carney, Bill, or Billy with the addresses listed on the screen. Visit us online at RedeemerWarsaw.org or on Facebook at Redeemer Warsaw. And once again, thank you for watching. And until next time, may the Lord be with your spirit. And as always, grace be with you.